And damn it, I've downloaded the wrong version of Godzilla vs King Kong again. Hey everyone, I'm Laurentio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Donkey Kong games on the GameCube. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat is one of those creative Nintendo games. You know what I mean. Nintendo usually makes extraordinary stuff and most of the time they succeed. So is the case with this game. What makes it stand out is that for this game, a special controller was made. Two bongos. You can play the game with the normal controller too if you find the game online and the one selling the game doesn't sell you bongos too, but the game will be a pain without the bongos. You have to keep hitting A to go right and press both L and R together to jump and press the Z button to do the clap move. They made it really hard to use the controller. So unless you're going to play the game with bongos, I don't recommend you to pick it up. I played part of the game without bongos as I don't own such accessory and it wasn't that fun. So in this review I'm telling you from what others with bongos have experienced. It wouldn't be fair for me to talk about the game from what I've experienced since it's not the intended experience. Ok so if you play the game with bongos, the game is a workout. You'll be clapping and slapping both the bongos and your hands in the air. The game is a side scroller. The plot is about Donkey Kong wanting to be king of the jungle or at least that's what people suppose. The game is actually Donkey Kong running around and beating up anything that crosses him. The plot is barely there and honestly you don't need one. The slim plot is enough because every enemy, level or boss is so fun and well integrated that the whole game becomes a story you'll want to tell your friends about. And as usual, the bongo controls are used in creative ways. If you ever find the game with bongos, according to everyone who's played the game like Nintendo intended it, it's a masterpiece. And next, the three Donkey Konga games. For this, you need again bongos. Just like in the other game, you can play these games without the bongos, but you wouldn't have as much fun. The games are drum hero games. Fun fact, the drum hero genre is much older than Guitar Hero. The first Guitar Hero game was released in 2005, whereas drum hero games can be traced since 2001 when Taiko no Tatsujin came out. Similar to Guitar Hero, here too you select from a list of songs and then bongo your way to make the high score. The game is fun and people on the internet say that it's even more fun if you gather 4 players with bongos and play the game together. 